Dendrogramma is a genus consisting of two species, Enigmatica and D. discoides, identified in 2014 from a collection of specimens gathered in 1986. The two species, which are small ocean-dwelling organisms, have been placed in the animal kingdom but have not been definitively assigned to any existing phylum. The two species are the only known members of the family Dendrogrammatidae. In 2015, the International Institute for Species Exploration names it as one of the top 10 new species for new species discovered in 2014. Discovery The Dendrogramma specimens were collected off the southeast coast of Australia during a scientific expedition in 1986. They were collected at water depths of 400 meters and 1,000 meters on the continental slope near Tasmania, using a sled that was dragged over the seafloor to collect bottom-dwelling animals. The researchers were immediately struck by the unusual characteristics of the 18 specimens they collected. These were preserved in formaldehyde, and later in ethanol, for further study. On returning to the sample site in 1988, they were unable to find any further specimens. It was not until 2014 that they published the discovery. John Just of the University of Copenhagen, who carried out the trawling in 1986, has explained the long delay before publication in terms of the extraordinary nature of the discovery. Once you think you have something really extraordinary, it takes a long time to study, read, consult left, right and center, and convince yourself that you've really stumbled across something special, naming. The genus named Dendrogramma alludes to the branching pattern of the digestive canals, which resemble dendrograms. Branching diagrams frequently used by biologists to illustrate the evolutionary relationships among organisms. The specific name Enigmatica refers to the mysterious nature of the organisms, while Discoidis alludes to the disc-like shape of the animals. Description These organisms are roughly mushroom-shaped, and with a mostly asymmetrical structure. So far no sex organs or nervous system has been detected. The body consists of a flattened, somewhat circular disc in a stalk with a mouth on the end, surrounded by lobes. The mouth on the end of the stalk leads to a digestive canal that forks repeatedly when it reaches the disc. The individuals have an outer skin, with a stomach separated from the skin by a layer of dense gelatinous material. The stalks measure up to 8 mm in length, while the disc ranges from 11 to 17 mm in diameter. Although the original specimens experienced significant shrinkage in full-strength ethanol after measurements were made, the two species primarily differ in shape of the disc and proportional length of the stalk. D. Discoidus has a complete disc and proportionally shorter stalk, while D. Enigmatica has a notched disc and proportionally longer stalk. There is no obvious sign that they had a means of propulsion and they do not appear to have been capable of swimming. The small mouth is simple and the manner of feeding is unclear, however, it has been suggested that the lobes around the creature's mouth could have secreted a mucus which was used to capture microbes in the water. Relationships Species of Dendrogramma have a body plan similar to animals in the phyla Snedaria and C. tenophora, but lack the stinging cells that define Snedarians in the tentacles that define C. tenophorans. The relationship between Snedaria, C. tenophora, and other basal metazoa is not firmly resolved. Dendrogramma is a basal metazoan, but the sister group to these organisms is unclear. They have been assigned their own genus, Dendrogramma, and family, Dendrogrammatidae, and the researchers even considered putting them in their own phylum. As they put it, however, we refrain from erecting such a high-level taxon for the time being because new material is needed to resolve many pertinent outstanding questions. The lead scientist of the identification effort, Jorgen Olesen of the University of Copenhagen, suggests that they represent an early branch on the tree of life.
with similarities to the 600 million year old extinct Ediacara fauna, at least three genera of Ediacarans, Albumers, and Festa, and Rugo Canites, share similarities with Dendrogramma. All three appear to have possessed a disc with an internal network of forking channels. Genetic identification, which could help place the organisms on the tree of life, cannot be done using the current specimens as they were preserved with formaldehyde and alcohol, a method that does not preserve nucleic acids. Further genetic research may have to wait until fresh specimens of the organisms can be obtained. Neurobiologist Leonid Moroz of the Whitney Laboratory for Marine Bioscience at the University of Florida said that if the new genus turns out to be directly descended from early animals, it could completely reshape the tree of life, and even our understanding of how animals evolved, how neurosystems evolved, how different tissues evolved. Simon Conway Morris of the University of Cambridge stated that the discovery is a very interesting surprise, and it poses lots and lots of questions. He notes that most intriguing similarity to certain Ediacaran forms, but cautions that the similarities are exactly that. They are intriguing rather than compelling. Nonetheless, if it is confirmed that Dendrogramma is a descendant of the Ediacarans, Reinhard Christensen of University of Copenhagen comments that then, we have discovered animals which we'd expect to be extinct around 500 million years ago. The discovery of what potentially could be an entirely new phylum of animals is an extremely rare event, as Jorgen Olesen notes. It's maybe only happened about four times in the last 100 years. Andreas Hevnol of the SARS International Center for Marine Molecular Biology in Norway describes tracking down a new lineage as being like the discovery of a treasure, as survivors of lineages thought long extinct can help researchers to reconstruct evolutionary history.